Hi guys, it's Mikey here with part 2 of the Distress Ink Pattern Paper for Christmas Gifts and well, here's a reminder of what I made or started making in part 1 and this is the paper all nice and splattered and dried up and the little notebook and the spine so to assemble it I cut this half sheet of paper into four and to remind you it's seven and a half centimeters by ten and a half centimeters is three by four and an eighth inch if I remember correctly uh, for the spine you just need a strip and you can make it as wide as you want as long as it's wide enough to wrap around the thickness of the notebook and mine opens from the side and you have notebooks that open on the top or that you know it's the same process I uh, score them I try to find a middle I am not very precise about it I know I have to leave a gap of one um, score line and score it on a second and then if it's not exactly right you can cut it off or just leave it and the, um, this is the, the swiped peacock feathers on the card so it was still a little bit wet and you can see when I uh, use my bone folder it kind of breaks up this is the, the ink blended and you see how nice and even it turned out and the other one was the swiped one so bye bye little kitty <laughs> it's kind of a shame to cover him up isn't it but yeah this um the cover on these notebooks is very flimsy very thin and you know by covering it up with a nice pretty cardstock i think you make a better product anyway so this is a just a taper on double sided adhesive and then you fit it on you decide which color you want on the top or on the bottom and then you stick it on I mean, can't be easier and there's a, a really thick gold blob of, well, I'll save it for the other or, or the back of the notebook so for the spine it's kind of the same, you put two strips of adhesive on either side and again if you if you have paper and you don't mind to waste a bit you can make this um, cover in one piece and just wrap it around but you know I like to be frugal well actually it's not even about being frugal it's about not wasting anything and uh, add to the landfill so here you can see the um, I, I attach it a little bit crooked so I just cut it off and you know it's fine and there are stocking fillers and you know I don't think anyone will look that closely except for the second one is when I noticed that um, uh, just cutting the paper in quartz isn't the exact right way to go so I was looking in my die cut bin to see if there was anything I could use and uh, there wasn't so I decided to use that nice purple that butterfly I thought that would go very well and this is a craft motion snowflakes <coughs> excuse me and they just you know go through the uh, die cut machine I, I put a little shim on top of cardstock because my plates are so bold and I cut some from this glitter paper, some from vellum and also blue glitter paper just to match kind of the colors that I use on the uh, cover I noticed there was one there still left over from another project so yay Uh, 
and um, I attach them with the glue dots and that's not a very secure way to adhere them um, if you want them to you know to go in your bag and or in your pocket then please use double sided adhesive on the back or stick it and you know adhere them. I, I kind of like it when they they're a little bit flowy and loose and you know you get a little bit more dimension but yeah <laughs> you can do whatever you want of course I'm just here to give you suggestions and ideas and it maybe inspire you to make some here are my um, homemade glue dots <coughs> oh, sorry again the um, it is just um, a lean stack it over and over that I put on my non-stick baking sheet and let them dry It's a bit laborious to make all these dots, but you can make them as big or as small as you want, and that's what I like about it. You know, you, you don't have to buy five different boxes with different size of glue dots that might not even be the right size. You, you just make them. You know, makes sense, right? And it's just poking out a little bit. If you didn't want to um, go through the hassle of ink blending your own background, you could just use um, white cardstock and stamp it and maybe color it with your markers or, or just use colored stamping ink. Uh, you know, all kinds of um, uh, Christmassy <laughs> images. Here, this is my uh, other booklet that I thought I can instead of using die cuts uh, emboss some snowflakes on it so i chose these from uh, leana creative i think they are and i'm using um a wow embossing powder and it's glitter but it's also transparent so all that you will see in the end is a little shimmer that it leaves behind and I forgot to use my embossing buddy but <laughs> please don't and I'm just randomly stamping three of the sizes of the uh, snowflakes going off the side makes it look more random I'm trying to figure out where I didn't stamp. You could go for white or silver or, or something that matches the uh, colors on the background. But I, I chose this transparent glitter one just because it is always matching, uh, but at least behind the nice shimmer yeah, that was my embossing body <laughs> I did put it out, I just did use it yeah. stuff happens I've added a few more snowflakes just to fill it up nicer And then it's just a matter of heat setting it and putting it together like I did with the other one. I know it's hard to see the shimmer, but you know, it's there. I'm not sure, I, ca I can see it, but <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see it on camera. And uh, this is where I noticed that my uh, second half of the paper is like a millimeter shorter so yeah <laughs> the uh, on the side or the, this side the original cover sh um, pokes through which is a bit of a shame after all your work but yeah what can you do you know I w decided to cover it up with some washi tape and um, 
make it a feature and instead of using the peacock spine that I made earlier I also use washi tape on the spine so it would um, match up again with the bit that I have to cover with the washi tape I mean it's one thing to cut off a little sliver of the uh, fin cover but <laughs> yeah, the whole booklet maybe not so much so um, I have plenty of um, washi tape but never one that matches do you have that problem too? there <laughs> uh, you go I wanted the one that was a bit of like the peacock feathers I didn't have it except for the chevron, chevron but that didn't make any sense so I went for the purple glitter and just wrap it around like I do with my uh, cards and here I thought, oh yeah, I'll put the spine on there but hmm, no wash tape so, um, th well, that's basically it I hope um, you will give it a try and I hope you will let me know what you made and I will see you again very soon thank you for watching, bye bye